Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new Amazon instance out of uh, provided uh, Amazon AMI um, that um, give you some basic uh, software um, and Python and, uh, and, and a graphical user interface. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the Amazon console as you can see on my screen and you click on sign in the console I'm assuming that um, you actually have an Amazon account and um, before you, you, you register as um, mentioned earlier uh, you can actually get uh, student account and, and free credits by registering for Amazon Educate. So again I'm assuming that you've done that already and that using your account and password uh, you can log in. So let's give it a few seconds. Um, you'll get to the landing page where uh, Amazon will show you, you know, some of the latest services that that you have been using. Now, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we're all in the same Amazon region. Um, on the top right corner, you have a drop down, and you can see all the Amazon uh, regions. We're going to be using um, U.S. North Virginia. That's the only place where the IMI is actually available. So just click on North Virginia if it's not already um, your choice. Uh, then we're going to actually go to EC2 and that's where we're going to set up an instance. So first thing to do is to click on services and now you get you know everything that Amazon provides and it's a huge list as you can see. So the first thing we do we look at EC2 is the top level service you click on it and uh, again you wait a little bit and uh, it will show you you know which instances we're running now uh, in your case typically if this is the first time um, it will show that there are zero running instances I mean in my case there is already a running instance but um, yours will look different so to launch an instance what we do is we click launch instance the first thing we need to do is to choose uh, an image to base our instance from now amazon provides a bunch of instances and in general you can use this ones um, but for this tutorial and for our class in general, I'm going to be providing an instance that has been preloaded with all sorts of good goodies um, like, you know, Python and uh, PyCharm, uh, which is a nice IDE, and MySQL and, uh, you know, the MySQL connector as, as, as well as the Python Amazon SDK so uh, to find that what you do is you click on community AMI and then you search based on ID so the AMI that we want is called AMI PAF632AC we just do a search and we'll find it. And as you can see, it tells you that you know the name of this AMI is EC1779 uh, Winter 2017 demo, and you know you have the AMI ID and gives you a little bit more detail about what's in this image, such as you know this is based on Ubuntu 16, it has Python 3.5, PyCharm, MySQL, and X. VNC, which is uh, software that we are going to use to remotely connect to the instance um, with a graphical interface. So we select this instance, and the next thing we need to do is to well choose how big of a machine we want. Um, 
nominally you can run this instance as a micro um, it tends to be very small so I would recommend uh, small or larger uh, you can see there are many many options and uh, you can actually s uh, you know look in the Amazon documentation for you know how they differ. I mean other than here you can see CPU memory and so on um, obviously the bigger the instance you know the more the more you're gonna be paying so uh, for now I think uh, T2 small uh, should should do so we next go to the next step so again just to review we have selected um, an AMI to base our instance we selected the size of the machine next thing we need to do is um, as, as I click next is to configure other parameters uh, so we can choose you know how many instances we want um, in this case we're gonna just fire one um, you can put your instance in a private network in this case we'll just use the default um, pretty much the default for for everything else um, we probably want to enable a CloudWatch detailed monitoring CloudWatch it's a service that Amazon provides um, that keeps track so of all sorts of performance um, um, numbers and statistics for your instance by by default I believe it collects it in five minutes intervals if you enable the detail monitoring it, it has fine granularity of about a minute so we're gonna add um, next step which is you know what kind of storage we want to use by default this instance uses magnetic disks uh, you can upgrade that to SSD if you want um, but it's more expensive so magnetic storage is, is fine and you can also specify the size of uh, the disk um, 8 gigabytes for now will do you can add more volumes if you want you know think of this as more partitions so I'm just gonna leave one partition um, gonna go next uh, finally you can add tags so these are you know useful metadata um, so that you can later you know identify what the instance is doing because typically you'll have you know many many different instances and it's nice to you know tag them properly one of the last steps is to configure this security and uh, this is basically the firewall so by default uh, your instance is behind the firewall and only uh, traffic in the ports that you explicitly open is available so for in this particular case <coughs> sorry about that um, uh, we can SSH into the instance you can see that uh, the uh, port 22 is, is open for SSH uh, you can add other rules for example we could uh, um, you know support I don't know HTTPS um, or even HTTP if we can find it here let's see or you can you know add your custom rule like you know that would be basically HTTPS um, from you know everywhere so this is as will will allow connections from HTTP, HTTPS, and um, uh, an SSH. Uh, you can change the firewall rules even after you start your instance. So this is something that you can always come back and and revisit. Uh, but for the time being, just to be very secure, we're only gonna leave. Um, uh, you know SSH port open uh, we need this port if you intend to uh, connect to the instance to manage it at all otherwise you know your instance won't allow you to connect at all so lastly you click review and launch um, 
it will give us some warnings which at this point we will just ignore and the very very last step is that we need to create some SSH credentials that will allow us to actually connect uh, into the instance once it, um, it, it starts. So the first time around uh, you won't have any credentials uh, so you'll ask it to create them. This is called a key pair and um, all that you need to do is you need to create um, uh, give it a name and you actually have to download uh, this key pair okay this one already exists let's see so you just give it a unique name and we save it and uh, make sure that you have it somewhere where you can find it so I found that you know it's with PM. If you lose this file, you won't be able to connect to the instance. Uh, you don't need to create a keeper every time. Um, you know, once you have a keeper in your system, you can reuse it to start as many instances as, as, as you want. But make sure that you keep this one in a safe place because anybody can have it. Uh, can SSH into into your instance as you as you will see we're not going to be using um, uh, Username and password we will just use this key pair for authentication. So finally we click launch instance And it will tell us that our instance has launched and uh, You know that we can go ahead and, and view the instance will take us back and uh, you can see here that well I'm running an instance here uh, but the one that we just created um, is initializing and this process will typically take a couple of minutes so you basically just uh, sit there and you know relax a little bit while the instance is done uh, loading and uh, well in in the next video tutorial i'm going to show you how we actually connect to this instance using a graphical interface good luck